The most important aspect of the leg movement in backstroke is that the toes are pointed and that the legs move in continuous rhythm. The coordination of the breath with the movement helps to free up the stroke. The arm is raised, thumb leading, the hand turns in the air to allow the little finger to enter the water first. Under the water, the elbow bends, allowing the arm to push through with maximum power. In the backstroke, it is important not to fix the shoulders, but to allow them to roll freely. Alexander Technique is a form of postural re-education in which we learn body awareness. The control of the head, neck and back relationship is at the core of the technique. The technique encourages us to stop, let go of tension and lengthen and widen our bodies.
Before I met you guys, I've heard bits and pieces of information about the Alexander Technique, and I wasn't really sure that I know if it's more towards the massage or the posture. Now I understand that it's more focused towards the length of the muscles that can be used. And I actually think it's very beneficial for an athlete and especially for a swimmer. I think the Alexander Technique can help a swimmer do those little things that counts at the end of the race or the end of his career when he wants to get those few one hundredths of a second off and, and win that medal. The Alexander Technique was, of course, discovered by Mr. Alexander. He was using his voice, which seems a long way away from posture and all that sort of thing. But, of course, the voice is the expression of the whole person. If I'm frightened, if I'm worried, if I'm out of contact, my voice is affected. Alexander used a mirror to get feedback, as we call it nowadays. Now we can actually do it much more accurately, and we can let the person sit for a while afterwards and really look at it, whereas Alexander, of course, only had the image when he did it. But we can actually play it again and again, so we can help people to learn from that. Supposing I have a patient who has recurrent chronic back pain. Um, heretofore, I might have suggested swimming, but been a little anxious that they wouldn't have been able to swim effectively because there are no, no people to teach them how to swim using their head properly and being able to put the head in the water and so on. Now I'm going to have great confidence and that I can um, send such patients to somebody who will apply the principles of the Alexander Technique to their movement and they will really benefit from, from working in water. I mean, I go to the local pool and I see guys going up and down and they've been in the gym for a couple of hours. And I always sort of feel like, well, what are they training for? And basically they're training for what they presume to be extra fitness, but they overtrain. And I think by overtraining, we can do ourselves quite a lot of damage. Um, you know, athletes have to train. You have to get to a physical sort of peak to sort of perform to the best of your ability. But for the man in the street, uh, or the woman in the street, um, you know, you can do yourself some physical damage. It saddens me sometimes because, you know, when you see people injuring themselves from sport, that sh shouldn't be the way. It should be the other way. You should be sort of taking part in sport for fun, enjoyment, and of course for a level of fitness. We can stop doing damage to ourselves by first of all being more conscious of the way that we move. Through that awareness, through that consciousness, we can begin to change very ingrained habits in the way that we use our body. And this applies to swimming, this applies to running, this applies to very many different forms of activity. Do you enjoy being in the water? I love being in the water. I think it's, it's great. Sometimes training so hard gets, gets hard and gets frustrating. But when I'm getting in the water in a different situation, like we did here, we got in the Red Sea and swim, and watch all the fish and the different temperature and the different texture of the water with all the salt. I just loved it. I think water is one of the most enjoyable places I can ever be in. And if I'm out of the water for two days, I miss it. I miss it bad. For example, I was in Japan's日本文化の中にも500年前に生きていた松尾場所という俳句の先生は水と私たちの関係をこのような言葉で表しています。I think that if you can if you can combine uh, creative stress with, with uh, a sublime relaxation at the end of the day, then you might have discovered the secret of life. And I think I might have done that. Au-dessus des étangs, au-dessus des vallées, des montagnes, des bois, des nuages, des mers, par-delà le soleil, par-delà les étangs.